Hey everyone, it's Larry here at LC Model Shipbuilding, and uh, this is going to be a pr pretty short video, but in this video I'm going to be demonstrating and showing um, Gene Davis over at B&B uh, Scale Ship Jewelry. Um, he, he has the uh, window set for the entire hull and upper decks. Obviously my upper decks aren't done yet, but I am going to demonstrate them on this hull. Um, they're not all installed currently right now, and uh, they won't be by the end of the video. This is merely a demonstration for uh, for you to kind of see what they look like and uh, all that good stuff. So I will be going through the entire set and showing them, and uh, I'll have the link at the bottom. So thanks for tuning in and watching, and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so when you receive your package from Gene over at B&B, You'll get a box, and it has a bunch of, um, um, what do you call it, uh, bubble wrap in there. And then inside, you're going to get a whole bunch of bags of um, different windows. Now, um, I'm going to show each individual sheet um, kind of in detail, and then we'll put one or two in, possibly. Um, but now, this is... Uh, this is not what I'm using on my ship, um, at least on the upper decks. I'm going to use it on the lower decks, but the upper decks, these are made, as you can see, not to be fully translucent. Now, you can buff them out, and they will get a little bit clearer, um, but in any case, with the thickness of them, I'm just kind of showing it, um, I'm doing full interior in mine, so these would not be conducive to what I am doing um, on my on my current build. But if you're not doing an interior, these are a fantastic um, alternative because they will kind of make the light emit uh, just basically to make it look like, you know, you, you can't see through into, into the hull and see wires. So that would be sheet N. Um, now there is kind of instruction numbers that uh that transcribe over to what these windows are but kind of looking at what i see here um n looks like they would be uh, on the ka set probably these right here which are five um and these all transpose to each other so you know it's basically a matter of getting the right um window for that individual uh, piece that's here. It looks like these are those right there. So you got N and L right here. Um, and again, this is part of the upper decks. So I'm not going through these in any particular order. I'm just gonna kinda show what they are and, um, and show the individual one. I'm just basically opening them up as I go here and most of these, hopefully I'll know what they are by looking at them, um, for video purposes anyway. So these look like more upper deck, um, and they are going to be, looks like the ones that kind of go along the officer's quarters right here. Um, and then also these, uh, number 12 here on the, uh, KA window frame which um they would be the uh oh the lower um passenger not passenger i'm sorry second class um smoking room windows and whatnot that we just put on but again you can see the thickness of them so you'd never be able to see through these to see hull hull details but those are them and basically these will just pop off and you push them right into the uh into the wall. I might even be able to kind of show here with a piece of uh, deck. So they're basically just going to slide right inside here and then I would glue them from the inside. Um, I don't think I have the exact one that goes right there right now in my hand but um, they would just slide right in there, and then I'd glue from the inside if I were doing it myself. Actually, I'm saying that in reverse. I am sorry. I am sorry. 
they would go from the inside out that way your window frame yes and that would be them so um, like I said I may end up demonstrating one actually yeah we will just to demonstrate it so to put them inside here basically I dropped it I don't think this is the right window no it goes shoot I was hoping that was gonna be the right window but it's gonna go inside there and then you'll be able to glue around uh, the outside I will demonstrate the portholes because I am using the porthole set on the, on the bottom there or the lower part of the ship but these are really nice prints honestly um, very much like them so these are done by um, Cameron at uh, Cameron Models Works and then uh, sold by Gene Davis on the B&B uh, &B Facebook page B&B um, Scale Jewelry Facebook page sorry now these here are deck lights so you'd basically drill your hole out like we have on some of our decks that we've done so far but say there was a deck light right here you're going to drill a hole out like that and then just basically pop it in through the inside and then uh, apply some glue and that will shine through so they look pretty awesome definitely a step up from the um the uh fiber optic that I'm currently using okay these gonna see what they are I am guessing before I even take it out that the lower section here is portholes there's a lot of them So yeah, these would be your portholes, and we will demonstrate these. Um, I knocked two off there on accident, but I have one in my finger right there. And they'll just kind of poke right through the hull. And you can kind of see they do get the light, like the same way that um, fiber optic picks up the light. So these are cool. These are very cool. Again, very better very much better than um, using the uh, fiber optic strands that I'm currently doing. So we'll demonstrate this one here in a little bit. I'll bring the hull over and uh, we'll see if we can't fit one of them up to the light or up to a porthole to, um, to show them. And there's a ton of them there. I mean, absolute ton. So I'm gonna put that one over to the side now on this one this will be more portholes and there's multiple different sizes of portholes throughout the hull so these here look like sea deck portholes which would be the ones that have the um have the uh utley's windows in them and then these are going to be some of the bigger ones or the smaller ones and then you got some of your more rectangular windows as well but same exact theory where they have the lip on the outside and you push it in and then glue it on okay now in here these are just more more of the rectangulars for the upper decks and without having the directions I'm not sure if B or C is a representation for the deck or not um, and I don't have it right in front of me but there they are and you got two sets of them then next up this is a bigger sheet here and I can see a couple 
the, this is for upper deck. I know that for sure by looking. So that is going to be your um, windows in the uh, the uh, that would be the first class smoking lounge, I do believe, um, that are partial windows. And then these are probably the windows um, along the boat deck here. I'm gathering from the size and uh, shapes of them. So there those are. It does look like there's more portholes and other type windows throughout there. So that is that one. Okay, next up, these appear to be portholes. They could be, I mean, without having the instruction sheets in front of me, that's the hard part right now. But they're definitely portholes. So they're number four and five, three, four, and five, actually. Okay, this one here is again upper decks. And these larger ones, I'm guessing, are the back of the veranda cafe. And then uh, I'm betting these are officers' quarters and probably grand staircase area on the boat deck. This looks like all boat deck um, to me, and I think these are deck lighting as well. So that's what these are looking like from my guesstimation okay and then we have more portholes which um, there's an absolute ton on the lower hall so these would definitely be lower hall pieces but like I said um, I am definitely using these I originally had planned on using the uh, the fiber optic um, which I bought a fair amount of it but uh these just they're gonna fit better they're gonna give me the better look and they're gonna dissipate the light um just as well if not better than uh the fiber optics so this is the option i'm going with for the lower decks anyway well not the lower decks but the lower hall and then the last bag here i do believe is also deck lights or did I pull this? I might have pulled this one. I'm not positive. It's okay. I'm going to still pull it out just because I have it here. But they kind of have an angle to them. So I'm not exactly sure which ones those are right offhand. I'll have to kind of look back at the instructions um, to kind of figure that out. But they're a little bit bigger. So, yeah, anyway, that is all the bags. And like I said, these are available over at um, uh, B and B Scale Ship Jewelry's Facebook page. And that is run by Mr. Gene Davis. So if you are interested in ordering any of them, there are links there to go ahead and set the order. Um, I did look, I believe they're right around the $115 mark in that neighborhood, uh, and that's for basically all of your windows throughout the entire ship. Um, now, like I said, if you are doing a full interior, it will be very, very hard to see through these. So, like, you can, you can see color through them, but you're not really going to see any kind of detail through them. So, um, you know that's a decision for you to make as you're uh as you're going in your build but um like i said personally i'm going to use the lower level and uh um the upper levels i'm going to continue with what i'm doing so um but 
like I said, I figured I'd share all of it so you could see the entire kit. So next up, I'm going to go over, grab my hull, bring it back, and then we'll see what we can do to fit up a couple of these. I'm not going to actually glue any of them down because I'm going to probably have to redrill some holes and all that kind of stuff that I'm going to do off camera. But um, we'll at least... Uh, kind of get the look and see what it looks like so i'll be right back okay so i don't want to damage anything um with uh what i've already done on the ship um i'm going to end up taking the uh fiber optics that i put on the back side back out but these uh smaller portholes here will be our lower ones down here and they basically just fit right in there. I mean, you can see how easy that just slid right in. And then um, you'd apply some glue on the back here and I can feel it pulling out just from, or poking out just from the back a little bit. Um, and it does, it does a nice job of picking up the light. I can already see it because there's not actual light on it, but uh, it's working. I'm gonna use, let me see if this will work. Where'd it go? There, it's right there. That's yeah, not the best example. Let me grab a light and I'll show you how it kind of um, illuminates. Okay, so just for demonstration purposes, uh, that's the porthole right there. It has the light in it. And you can see that once it's in here, there's kind of always light happening from it. And you're not getting that, that blinking, twinkling effect that you get um from all of the other portholes as i move the light around it stays just basically constant so no matter what angle you're looking at it it's illuminating out and you're not getting that crazy bright shine that just doesn't look natural it's keeping a real nice subtle always lit type look to it so there's that one um I think I also pulled either one of these or one of these off of the sheet. So I'm going to pop one of those in too, just for uh, demonstration purposes. And uh, we'll check one of them out. So let me see here. Which sheet that was on. Because that was the one that I was trying to get into the... Um, into the... Uh, boathouse or not boathouse but the boat deck I thought it was this one well two more of those smaller ones are off the sprue so I'm gonna put two of them in actually just side by side and these are done with a uh, 7k resin so the resolution really isn't the important part but they uh, there. so there we got another one in like I said it would just glue in from behind um, but I want to find that other rectangular window quick that I had popped off earlier. Now some of these, they look like they have windows that are missing, but they're actually just the sprue and that's how they're printed. So it is what it is. But that's what's confusing me right now and which one I popped off. There it is. I do believe that's one of these windows. Not too big for that one. No, I guess not. But I'm not going to go taking a whole bunch of these off. Um, just to demonstrate, but I am going to set that one there. Actually, that works. Now, the one thing you have to remember with mine, um, I use the mini brass side plates, so my back is not the same as what a stock kit would be. 
um, it's all cut, cut and trimmed away. So if you're doing this on a stock model, those windows will probably fit a whole lot better on these uh, upper decks. But you'll still get the effect here. And then you can kind of see how it's going to have that illuminated look um, versus that. And that shows it a whole lot better than the portholes did. I mean, you get the idea down here on the portholes. See, those two are pretty constant. And then as I pull it next to the windows, they're b real bright and kind of flashing at you versus what you get in the two porthole windows, which are right here. But here's the uh, window in the deck versus that. So it definitely gives it a much more realistic look. And um, yeah, highly recommended. So again, you can get these at uh, B&B Scale Ship Jewelry and, um, or just uh, Facebook message Gene Davis. And, um, but I think he prefers if you use the link. He'll end up sending you the link anyway. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's these windows, and they are a really, really nice set. They're extensive and basically include every window for the ship. So that is pretty much my review and um, demonstration of these windows. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.